Hello and welcome to part three of five of our Mediterranean Odyssey aboard the Viking Sea. This part of our journey takes us from the beautiful country and the cities of Croatia to Venice, Italy. And while our voyage ended in Venice, it continues with an extension in the beautiful Tuscan countryside. Our first stop is Dubrovnik, Croatia. Dubrovnik, sometimes called the Jewel of the Adriatic, is a beautiful city established sometime around the 7th century AD. Owned by several countries and empires over the centuries, including Soviet Yugoslavia, Croatia gained its full independence in 1991. The star of any Dubrovnik stop is the Old City, and our shore excursion featured just that. To get to the Old City, we took a 30-minute ride on a small boat around the Cape and into the Old City. first glimpses of the old walled city were certainly impressive. Perched precariously upon the cliffside and hugging the wall is a bar where you can apparently get liquored up and even do some impromptu cliff diving. As we entered the old harbor, it was clear why many of the scenes from Game of Thrones were filmed in and around the old city of Dubrovnik. With modern digital masking and matting, removing the modern elements from the scenes. After a short briefing and orientation from our tour guide, we were more or less turned loose in the old city. City is a fascinating combination of old and older, displayed across one wide boulevard leading through the center of the old city and small, tiny alleyway-like streets spreading out and butting up against the large and imposing defensive walls of the city. defensive wall completely surrounds the city and for a small fee in about an hour and a half year time you can completely circumnavigate the city on the wall and while we had the desire we did not have the time this time to take a walk along the wall <music> you should ever feel the need to experience a full-on sugar rush, 
or keep a thousand kindergarten kids high on sugar, Dubrovnik has you covered with Captain Candy. Leaving the old town, we step back aboard the Leska and headed back to our larger ship. ship we had a great view of the hillside and if you look closely you'll see that there are no streets but only stairways up and down the mountain connecting all the houses from top to bottom. On the other side of the ship we spotted a very neat little regatta with dozens of these little sunfish like sailboats being towed back to dock. That evening, we were treated to a beautiful sail away and sunset. The next morning brought us to beautiful Split, Croatia. slightly funky area where we had docked gave us a bit of a pause, but Split itself opened up into a very interesting and neat experience and city. Split is a very busy harbor with many ferry boats and yachts, large and small, docked there. Split is an even older city than Dubrovnik, and was founded in the second or third century BC and in 305 AD became the home of Roman Emperor Diocletian. One of the highlights of our walking tour was visiting the excavated ruins of Diocletian's palace. Again, Split was home to many of the scenes filmed for Game of Thrones. In fact, as you look at these pictures of what was essentially the basement of Diocletian's palace, picture yourself, if you will, the dragons of Daenerys imprisoned in these dark halls. As I said, most of which survives from Diocletian's palace is the lower levels, as the medieval city of Split was built atop the ruins of the palace. Outside of the palace is just as interesting with Roman relics mixed with the medieval, mixed with the modern.
modern. And speaking of the modern, as you look around, you can see modern windows in some of these very old looking buildings. We were told by our guide that many of these buildings are occupied by quote unquote squatters. Now, the reason they continue to occupy these buildings is because the city can't remove them. Their families have been squatting there for 500 years. Just beyond our brief musical interlude, we found a square that was once one of the central courtyards of Diocletian's palace. In the 1800s, a famous visiting American, one of the Vanderbilts, decided he liked the art and made the mayor of Split an offer that he thought he could not refuse. Well, luckily the mayor did refuse and Vanderbilt left frustrated and without the artwork that he so admired. Burning ships are piled to the sky as a dead breeze carries our words like knives to the center of a concrete gate littered with the ruins of our failed escapes. Easily Strongest of us all Spoke the wearer of the mask To the concrete wall There's never Just as in Dubrovnik, Split was a major filming spot for the Game of Thrones. And everywhere you look, there are signs and stores pandering to the tourist looking for their Game of Thrones fix. Satisfied with our tour of Split, we headed back to the ship and were treated to another fabulous sail away. The next morning, and it was Venice, Italy. Well, actually, because of new laws in Venice, we had to dock in Fusina, Italy. We then had to bus from Fusina and into Venice, where we hopped on a water taxi and went to the old city of Venice. Cruising along the Giudecchia Channel, it became clear that Venice would be an interesting stop. One quick tip from what I could see, if you want a gondola ride, don't take it on the Giudecchia Channel. We reached our dock 
debarked and began our walking tour of Venice. Venice, while interesting, was definitely more crowded than possibly even Rome was. I think we can attribute that to the fact that there are no roads in the old city of Venice, so all foot traffic is confined to the narrow walkways that border the canals. As we approached what would be the finale of our walking tour, Piazza San Marco, or St. Mark's Plaza, we could hear live music from one of the, as it turned out, four bands that encircle the plaza, each residing at a different restaurant. But the main attraction of the plaza, other than the unique architecture of the buildings surrounding it, is version two of St. Mark's Companion Bell Tower that also once served as a lighthouse and St. Mark's Basilica itself. Construction of the Basilica was begun in the 800s and it was opened in 1094 AD. The Basilica sits next to the Doge's Palace where the leaders of Venice govern over the people and territories of the city-state of Venice. There are several portals that you can walk through and immediately find yourself in a quieter space replete with canals and gondolas. Returning to the Grand Canal, we began our journey back to the docking place for our water taxi, pausing here at one of the most famous spots in Venice. This canal and the bridge that goes over it separate the Doge's Palace from the old prison. It is the perfect viewing platform for one of the most infamous sites in Venice. This is the so-called Bridge of Sighs. Felons convicted in the Doge's Palace were led across this bridge to the prison. And as legend would have it, you could hear their sighs from the canal below. We made our way back to the Viking Sea for one more night before debarking in the morning, where oddly we had to return to Venice to the ghostly and basically unused cruise terminal to begin our trip to Tuscany.
Well, thank you so much for watching part three of our five part series on our 2022 Mediterranean Odyssey. Stay tuned for part four, which is our Tuscan extension, followed by part five, all about the Viking Sea and our dining options on the Viking Sea. Give us a like and subscribe and ring that notification bell and check out some of our other videos on T's Cruise and Travel Muse.